beautiful people welcome back to the canada info Up channel my name is wolo i am a regulated canadian immigration consultant and if this is the first time you are seeing this video i would request that you do one thing subscribe to this channel and give me some thumbs up i used to say destroy the like button before but that was some years ago i don't know if i should bring that back so uh, thank you so much to all my returning subscribers viewers um, i know you guys have been asking where have i been all this while i've done a video on my life update if you've not seen that check it out i've, I've also done a live video uh, recently and i did another video last week so i want to be doing videos weekly once every week um a video would go up so today's video is in continuation of what i started talking about last week which is um the home child care provider pilot and the home support worker um, program. I talked about the home child care last week. So this week I'll be talking about the home support worker part of it for today. Now the home support worker program has two categories like the home child care program where you have the one for gaining experience. If you are outside Canada, you've gotten a job offer and you want to come into Canada, you have to apply for both PR and work permit at the same time. So you have to apply for the PR. It's currently open. The one that is closed is the one for the home child care uh, provider. That one is closed, but the home support worker program is still open. So you have to apply for the PR first. And then uh, once your PR is confirmed, you can then apply for your work permit. So I want to mention some few facts about this particular program. Um, the fact number one is that it's only 2,750 slots that have been apportioned by the government of Canada for this particular program, which means it is only 2,750 people that they will take. The thing is, it's very difficult getting a job um, as a home support worker. I, I already talked about it in, when I was talking about the child caregiver program. It's difficult getting a job offer as a home support worker because a particular group of people dominate in this industry, which are the Filipinos, they already have their network of uh, friends and families that when whenever, whenever somebody wants somebody to come in, they, they are able to refer their people. So it's difficult for someone from Africa, especially Nigeria, to get a job offer in this category, except maybe you're living in any of the um, developed countries like UK, US, then you can get job offers and come in. But if you're applying from Africa, it's very difficult getting a job offer as a home support worker from outside Canada, especially if you're from Africa or Nigeria. Let me use Nigeria as an example. So the next question that you'll be asking is, so what, what next? What do you do? You want to come and work as a home support worker and you're finding it difficult getting a job. Um, you don't have any relative in Canada to help you or to, uh, to give you the job offer. What I would say is this, you have to upgrade yourself, you know, upgrade yourself to let's say a personal support worker, get the qualifications as a personal support worker. And then that way you can apply for um, jobs related to personal support work and anything that has to do with personal support worker, there are lots of jobs. And like I've, I've talked about in this, several times in my videos that if you are a nurse you know nursing is a regulated occupation in canada you cannot come to work as a nurse in canada you have to get a lower paying job like this personal support worker job and then from there you can work towards getting your license so the same thing i'm saying concerning the home support worker program it has to do with taking care of people who have disabilities cleaning them taking care of their homes changing their bed sheets and stuff like that since it is difficult getting such jobs because it requires a lot of referrals, um, uh, some checks, adult abuse and child abuse checks, the best thing you can do is actually to upgrade. So instead of just remaining on that level where you say, okay, you know how to take care of old people or you know how to take care of children, why don't you upgrade to becoming a personal support worker and then use that means to immigrate. There are lots of job opportunities when it comes to personal support worker. And if you search for these job opportunities, you can get them from outside Canada compared to getting a job as a home support worker. There are lots of opportunities. I repeat it again. There are lots of opportunities in the personal support worker industry you can get the certifications, um, get the experience and then search for jobs in this area that will help you immigrate rather than remaining to look for opportunities on the, under the home support worker program. So the next option is actually to diversify. The first option I talked about is upgrading. The second option is diversifying. Diversifying means you're shifting um, from this particular pathway to 
other pathways that are related to this particular pathway so you are not limited to um, waiting for next year when the slot will open although the slot is still open now so if you have a job offer yes you can go ahead and apply but you can diversify from this particular pathway to other related pathways like becoming a light duty cleaner heavy duty cleaner these are the ones i can recall they are closely related to um, becoming a home support worker so when you're a light duty cleaner you can work in the hospitality industry you can work in different establishments as a cleaner you know it's it's closer to this one and with working as a cleaner you have lots of options you have lots of jobs um in canada that you can use to immigrate this particular particular diversification does not need uh so much qualifications yeah anybody can work as a cleaner you can work as a cleaner in the in the hotel anybody can do that it doesn't require so much certifications you can get a job as a cleaner that can bring you to canada it doesn't need so much referrals it doesn't need um adult abuse check or uh, uh, child abuse check it doesn't need all of these things so in summary of what i was saying is that you can either upgrade your skill from being a home support worker or you diversify to uh, becoming a cleaner a light duty cleaner or a heavy duty cleaner where you can clean hotels restaurants uh, public places you know either you upgrade or you diversify so this is the information i said i was going to share today um i'm putting these videos out this content out normally if you were to to book to speak to me you'll be paying 60 dollars or $120 to get this information but I'm giving it to you guys for free so one thing you should do is this I know a lot of people were asking questions what's happening when are we doing the um what do you call it now the job search webinar yes the job search webinar will be taking place by God's grace on the 29th of January this month I'm going to announce it the details the flyers everything um links to make the payment will be published so if you're not following me on instagram please follow me on instagram follow me on facebook follow me on twitter follow me on tiktok i'm trying to get on tiktok as well where i am pushing out information and content concerning immigrating to canada thank you so much for watching please watch this video and share this video if you don't watch this video and share this video in my next video i'll come and be dancing for you guys i'll just dance and i'll not say anything if you want me to dance just let me know <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.